good afternoon from Sito, which is just outside of Nazare. And yes, we have left Porto after how many nights? Four nights. Four beautiful nights in Porto. And we have arrived this afternoon and we're gonna spend two nights in Nazare. And we're gonna show you some sights. The weather, we couldn't make a reservation on the weather. It's cloudy, it could rain, but we're gonna do the best we can with what we got. That's right. At least it's a little warmer. It is warm. Well, not warm, it's 70 degrees. Better than the weather in Porto. Yeah, a little bit. With that said, we're gonna take you on some sights here, and we're also gonna show you Quite arguably, many have said that Nazare holds the biggest waves for surfers in the whole world. We have no evidence of that, but it's been said. So we'll see. So here's the town square of Sieto. And you get your viewpoints, I believe, from right across the street there. And this is quite the view right here. Pretty much the same thing we're seeing from our apartment, but just a little bit of a different angle. So I think Jeannie did it again. We're on the 14th floor, apartment E. And once again, Jeannie sourced another great place. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you real quick. It's not that big, but it's beautiful. It's completely renovated. Nice European shower. Very, very clean. It's bigger than a hotel room. Bigger than, this is an old building. Here's, first of all, let's, let's finish this. First things first. Here's the kitchen. Looks like it was all redone with Ikea stuff, which is I have no problem with. Nice little place to sit and eat. And not a king size bed, but big enough. For, we're only here for two nights. Little flat screen and a couch. And the best part of all from the 14th floor, how's this view? That's the old city of Nazare, and the beach goes on forever. It doesn't get any better view-wise than what Jeannie just found for us. How much a night? Eighty-four. Eighty-four dollars a night. How do you go wrong? From here, to get to where the big waves are, you have to walk through that archway. And we're on our way. And as it states, welcome to the biggest waves in the world. And we've all seen this statue in all the other travel videos. It's fairly famous. And just to the right of that building is where the monster waves break. So it's gonna be about another month or so until they actually start to appear. We're a little early. It's usually towards the end of October, November when they start to come. Oh 
in order to get to where the big waves are, you need to come down the road to the bottom where this building is. And from there, I believe the big ones break right here. In any other place in the world, these would probably be considered very large waves. But it's nothing compared to what they say are coming. So if you get tired from walking all the way down here, they have these little tuk-tuks, two euro a person, and they'll take you all the way back up the hill. You know I'm forking out four euros. I'm not positive, but I think this is the surfing museum. Is this the surfing museum? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> it has been confirmed. Fort San Miguel is the surfing museum. We'll go in, take a quick look around. You got it? No. I'll cut it here and get our money together. And in we go. The Surfing Museum. I'm hoping that this footage is picked up because I'm using the GoPro. I don't got the gimbal. This is the part I was very interested in because they kind of show you why there's big waves here. I can't do anything about this flashing. Here's the town of Nazare, the overview of the town itself and the split between the South Beach which remains flat and how it squeezes into the North Beach. Here's the mechanics on how the waves go from 10 foot average to the monster 100 footers. The Nazare Canyon is a deep trench that intensifies the waves as water moves through it and can reach depths of 8,000 feet just a few miles offshore, allowing the waves to come in at a much greater unimpeded speed. The water moving from the South Beach converging with the water moving from the trenches pushes giant waves to the North Beach. They love that. I'm out. A lot of people going into that exhibition right there, so I think I'll go this way first. Ah, more museum. These are the boards of all the famous people that have ridden the big waves. And last but not least, we'll do some stairs for the view. Ah. 
Up there is where we did the drone work. And it's been confirmed, this is actually exactly where the big waves come in. Jeannie just gave us a weather report. I don't know if this camera's it's picking it up, closer. but you can see right out there, rain coming in at us really quickly. So we're gonna get this last shot up here. Then we're gonna turn around and run. You come to Portugal and not come and see Nazare. It's like going to Mexico and not going to Puerto Escondido to see the big waves there. Time for us to go. Rain's coming. Okay, we got our tuk-tuk to go back up to the top of the hill. Je Jeannie's happy. Two euros each. Right. Well, I'm happy because of that. Yeah, the rain that's coming in. It is, in all fairness, it is Saturday, but it's off season. So I imagine during on season, this place must be mobbed. It's a nice little business they got here. Run people up the hill for two euro each. That's as far as you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.